What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Omega Ruby walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we managed to defeat Team Magma, give the Devon parts to Captain Stern, and uh, what else, what else, what else, what else? Oh yeah, we found ourselves our very first Megastone, which it happens to be an Alakazite. I hope I'm saying that right. And, uh, well, now it is finally time for us to leave this place and, uh, you know, start capturing some Pokemon. Start impressing people. Doing it for the bitches. That's right. That is right. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing right here. So let's get the heck out of here. Now, there's a little bit of an added part right here. Before you leave Slateport City, take a look at this. Hey, that's Lazaya and Ali doing a shoot over there. Are you serious? Lasaya? Let's go! I hope I'm saying that right. Well, well, hello, hello! Take a look at that. Mmm, 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 mmm. Hi, everybody! Wow, she sounds a little preppy. Lasaya here, me and my Altaria, Ali, have come to Slateport City's uh, Contest Spectacular Hall for a bit of fun! Ali, 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 Ali. Oh, damn, I can't even say that right. Well then, watch me as I dive right in again today. Yeah! Dazzling, dizzying, dull dumbs, defying. Okay, we're, 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 all, we're all like spinning. I'm not even spinning. I'm not following this. And she's... Bam! Showing that pose. That's right, baby. Show that pose. Show what mama gave you. Let's say it's miraculous contest, uh, contest scouting. Start. Let's see, scout me to be your next boyfriend. Hey, 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 get in line, homeboy. Let's say, Allie! Alrighty, I'm going to bring another fantastic trainer into the wild world of contesting. Eeny, meeny, miny. Mm, she's looking around, looking around, and, uh, ooh, would you look at that. Look at that stud muffin right there. Yes, she's looking at this stud muffin right now. You there, watching me, watching me with that baffled expression on your face. Hi! not baffled baby it's just uh, another uh, word have you uh, have you ever joined a contest kinda that's just what I want to hear I said kinda so I guess she takes kinda as an answer then let's get this show on the road this is a trainer I'm going to scout today and his name is my name is Draven Draven when I took a look or uh, when I took a good look I could easily see that Draven's is a powerful trainer with several badges on his uh, on his own already. Draven. You can enjoy contest spectaculars at the Pokemon Contest Hall right here. Now listen up, because I don't want to see you making your Pokemon strong. I, or, well, did I say that right? I don't even know. I want to see your Pokemon bringing uh, out a whole new brilliant side of them to show off. So here you go, take these. This is a, a contest pass, which is uh, the first thing that you anyone needs to take part in a Pokemon Contest Spectacular, or whatever. And this is and this one is a Pokeblock kit, which will let your Pokeblocks for your Pokeball or Pokemon uh, out for oh, berries. I don't even know what I just said right there. So there it is, guys. We get two new items, and uh, look at that Pokeblock kilt. Kit kit. Wow, dyslexia, guys. It's a real big thing right there. And, uh, well, there she is, posing for the uh, cameras right there. Draven's story begins today. Yep, and this chapter should be tilted. And bam! That's right, she's doing a pose right there. I'm not I'm not doing a pose. I'm just like... I'm like Tim Duncan. Just a faceless expression says it all because I am the goat. A sudden encounter miraculous countess scouting. That's... Well, that's what I, I'd call it. Now, everyone out there watching, you'd better expect great things from Draven because I do. That's it for today, Lysia's Miraculous Contest Scouting. See you all next time. I'll tell you. Clap, 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 clap. That's not a good thing right there. Lissy, you are so cute. Back off, buddy. And, uh, well, she's looking at us and she's like, okay, get, out, get away from me. Don't touch me. I'm just playing. If you or if you feel uh or if you feel up for it, try your hand in the contest for me, okay? Tee -hee. Okay, she is uh. Okay, she is uh she is a little something something. Hmm. Mm mm mm. Hmm. Mm mm mm. Mm 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 mm. Anywho, let's go right ahead onto our adventure because you guys already know my feelings on Pokemon Pokemon contests. Not that important. Uh, I might, 
I'm just saying a hard might when it comes to Pokemon contests right here. So here we are in the next route, and uh, well, this is home to a specific Pokemon that we all love, and that I had in my last team. And uh, let's go ahead and see if it's the Pokemon uh, hiding from me. So let's see, Twinkle Toes Draven right here, and no, that looks like a Plusle or a Minome. It might be a Plusle. I don't even know. So let's go right ahead and there you go. Trying to find a plus little Minum. It is a Minum. Okay, so I believe in uh, this version you can actually find Minum more than a uh, plus little. No biggie. No biggie. I can actually find these Pokemon uh, easily. Uh, yeah, off screen I will be capturing some of these Pokemon. But the real Pokemon that I really want to capture, somewhere in here. Let's go ahead and see if we can find them. Where are you? Nope, that's not it. Even though he kind of looks like a stomach. Kind of does look like a stomach. Okay, so let's get this uh, uh, show on the road right here. Now, again, guys, I would like to uh, extend an apology for the lagginess of this whole video game right here. Yes, again, I've been saying it in the last, what, 10, 11 episodes and all that stuff. It's mainly because of the internet and all that stuff. Now, if I would have paid $500 for a uh, capture card that was wired, it would have been a whole lot easier. But, yeah, you know, it is what it is. And uh, would you look at that? There you are. The Pokemon that I've been looking for. Electric. Okay. So, as many of you guys already know, I captured an Electric uh, back in my Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. And believe it or not, I kind of have my eye on him just a little bit. And, uh, well, would you look at that? Little sucker paralyzed me. Dick move, man. Dick move. But, luckily for us, we do have a Pokeball right here that we can actually capture it. So, that's exactly what we're going to be doing right here. We're going to be capturing you. You a-hole Pokemon right here, you. And, uh, yeah, this guy does not want to go. And it's going to be howling at us. And, uh, okay, so let's go right ahead and uh, do this uh, Great Ball again. So, here we go. Great Ball. For the win, stay in the goddamn Pokeball. One, two, come on, damn it! Okay, so I might have to hit it one more time. Hopefully this Fury Cutter will not, uh, yeah, make it faint, because if it does, then, you know, crap on a crapsicle. And, uh, why are you using another per- or, or, damn it! Okay, never mind. Okay, so that wasn't good at all, but eventually we're going to be capturing that Pokemon, so... Yeah, we're going to be moving on right here. Uh, you guys already know what Pokemon I want to capture. Uh, we will be capturing them a little bit later. In this episode right now, we're just going to be focused on a few things, such as uh, all the Pokemon trainers around this area right here. In the next episode, we will be uh, taking care of the rest. That is exactly why I have uh, Zigzagoon with me, because... Hello, hello there. Let's keep going through Route 110 and head to Mount Chimney. It'll be quite a journey, long journey. Let's take a rest at Malville City, which is away, on the way. I concur. Okay, alrighty. Alright, so at least we know where they're going to be going. And uh, yeah, my chair is squeaky right here. So, uh, like I said before, we're going to be battling uh, quite a few trainers. And the next one, we will be headed uh, into Malville City. So, uh, our biggest deal right now is to try and level up all our Pokemon right here, including our Hydra. So here we go. <laughs> I would go any to, anywhere to show my, off my delightful Pokemon. Okay. These Pokemon trainers right here love their Pokemon. Here's Pokefan Isabel coming with her Plusle. Okay, so we just met a Plusle and a Minum. So that's a two cool Pokemon that we can actually capture and all that stuff. But right now, no capturing. Just battling. Alrighty, here we go. Mega Drain for the win. That's right. And uh, just like that, they like to add uh, berries to their Pokemon so they can get healed right away. And, uh, well, you just messed up there, buddy. You just messed up. You just did an encore on yourself. So here we go again with another Mega Drain attack. Yeah, buddy. Nearly makes it faint. And this guy right here is using Spark. And, uh, god dang it. Yeah, I knew we were going to get paralyzed. Uh, if you guys don't remember, I am very famous for getting uh, paralyzed. And unfortunately, I can't use Quick Attack right now. 
So let's just get hit with another spark attack. It's always nice right there. So here we go. Mega Drain for the win. That's right. Suck it. Okay, so there we go. Blussel has fainted right there. I feel good about myself right now. And uh, everybody gaining experience points. And look at that. Hydra number two grows to level 14. And here she comes out with a Minum. So let's go straight to Yokozuna right here. That's right. Akebono Yokozuna right here. Using his fluff. Look at that. All that fluff. That's right. It's not big boned. It's major fluff. Believe it or not, guys, I actually... Um, for sumo wrestlers, now, okay, you guys already know I'm a fitness nut. I am a uh, personal trainer and all that stuff. And I do research people's different diets and all that stuff. And uh, <laughs> I just obtained a, an Oran Berry. That's cool. Believe it or not, sumo wrestlers actually, uh, what they do is they wake up. They wake up in the morning and they train for at least eight hours without eating. And then after that, Bam! They have a big ass feast and everything, and then after that, they go back straight to sleep, just like a bear. And this actually builds up like a uh, some some uh, what was it called again? What kind of a uh, what kind of fat? Oh yeah, some visceral fat. Many of you guys don't probably know what that is. That's the type the the tough kind of fat, not so fluffy, you know, not so flubbery or anything like that. Yes, and uh, yeah, that's what makes them all tough and everything. Makes them look kind of like a muscular fat dude right there. So. Quick, uh, quick, quick uh, tidbit right there from uh, Draven's knowledge of uh, fitness right there. Anywho, let's move on. And uh, we'll be going into this area in the next episode. But for right now, we're going to be taking care of business right here. And uh, th this is the exact reason to why I brought uh, Zigzags. Because we will be needing a Pokemon that cuts. And of course, make sure to bring a lot of Paralyzed Heals. It's needed. Trust me, guys. A lot of... Uh, Paralysis Pokemon right here, and uh, I believe she does have some grass type Pokemon here too. So let's go right ahead and switch out her Pokemon to Toxic Batman. Now, the Pokemon that I have targeted to evolve right now is both Toxic Batman, Gaia, and uh, well, eventually we're gonna have Hydra number two evolve into its red Gyarados form. So here we go Aroma Lady Daisy wants the battle, and she's coming out with a Roselli. So I actually picked her ugly right there. I will get poisoned, I will get attacked. Here we go, eat this wing attack, and there we go, look at that, victorious right there, alrighty, okay, look at that, and that's a lot of experience points right there, like I said guys, in this game you're going to be battling a bunch of trainers many many times over, look at that, Hydra number 2 gains level 15, you see, and it's going to be easy, very easy to level up all your Pokemon. That's why I keep on saying that I will be capturing a lot of Pokemon and I will be using a lot of Pokemon in this walkthrough right here. And, uh, you know, I'm, again, I'm very excited about it, too. Uh, let's see. We're going to be cutting this right here. Uh, oh, yes. And another thing, too, guys. Um, if you guys want to contact me right here for this Pokemon game, my uh, friend code down below right there. And, uh, let's see, if you guys happen to be playing this game, and, uh, you see the passerbys, well, my message is gonna be very, very clear. It's gonna be saying, Gym Leader Draven, all together. And here we found four Lepa Berries. Pretty good stuff. And, uh, let's go with these Cherry Berries. And, oh, no, wait, Chester Berries. And, uh, now one more thing right here. Actually, you can't go right there. I actually thought... Okay, so let's go a little bit further on. Stop moving. Stop. Right here. Okay. So we're going to be moving right here, and uh, we're going to be having a double battle. So let's go right ahead and... Uh, actually, we got the Pokemon set for this battle right here. So bring it on, young ladies. The two of us together. Uh, or the two of us fight together as one. I'm Amy, and this is my twin sister, Liv. We're going to fight you together. Bring it on, young ladies. Bring it on. Here we go. Battling against twins. Amy and Liv and, well, Plusel and Minum seems to be the uh, the popular Pokemon right here. Try saying that uh, two times or ten times. Popular Pokemon. Popular Pokemon. Okay, so I have one weakness, but the rest is okay. So let's go straight for a bite right here. And uh, let's go with, uh, you know what? I think Magical Leaf... Nope, it can only hit one person. How about Disarming Voice? Yes, it can hit both. Alrighty, and a Crud Basket. Yeah, that is... Damn it! 
Oh, I was about to say, it was about to make both my Pokemon faint. All right, take this bite. Not so effective. Here we go. Disarming voice. Oh, damn. So, yeah. Okay, not the right Pokemon. So let's go right ahead and switch out Pokemon right here. We might get paralyzed in the, in the process, but it's okay, I think. I don't know. I think this is the last battle. I would like to think so. So let's go with Yokozuna right here. Sage of the Halo and Yokozuna. Bring it. So here we go. Sage of the Halo. And for those who are new, why did I call a, uh, what was it, Grovile Sage? Ronin Warriors. Check it out, guys. It's a pretty cool anime. Kind of like Power Rangers. Except more Japanese in armor and samurais and all that stuff. Ronin Warriors. Okay, so let's see. Let's go right ahead and use that Mega Drain. And let's go right ahead and use that Force Palm onto this guy right here. That's right. Quick block. Let's get this. Here we go. Eat this Force Palm. That's right. And here comes that Mega Drain. Nearly makes that Manoon uh, faint. And uh, crud. Still, these guys are going to use Spark Attack. And no. Okay. I was about to say, we're going to get paralyzed right here. And I'm not going to like it. I really am not. So here we go. Mega Drain again on this guy. And uh, let's go with another Force Palm onto this guy right here. So here we go. Mega Drain does its trick. That's right. Returns my HP to 55, which is always good. And say goodbye to the blue Pikachu. And uh, look at that. Level 23. Thank you. Thank you, baby Arceus. And it's finally learning a new move, which is Leaf Blade. So, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I want to see what this has done. Uh, ooh, 90. Okay, I'm going to switch it out for uh, Mega Drain. Mainly because, you know, I kind of want to have one move of each typing. And, uh, you know, I, eventually I'm going to be buying a bunch of, uh, well, a buttload of, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, yeah, buttload of, uh, super potions, maximum potions, and all that stuff. Eventually, once you get the, uh, the, whatchamacallit, the amulet coin, boom, you're going to be starting, uh, you're going to start earning a lot more money. And, again, you're going to be battling a buttload of people here, so, yeah, you're not going to be, you're not exactly going to be poor here. And, hello, hello, level 21, Yokozuna. And, uh, no, oh, look at that. Talks about man grows to level 19. Learning air cutter. So let's go right ahead and replace that move. Let's see. Air cutter. Yeah, critical hit. Okay, you know what? I'm going to take away leech life. I know it's two typings and all that stuff, but eventually we're going to be getting some pretty good other good moves and all that stuff. Poison type moves and all that. And uh, Hydra number two grows to level 16. Getting closer and closer to that red Gyarados part. That's right. Kicked your butt. Okay, so let's see. Oh, God. And this guy's like, my Pokemon is delightfully adorable. Don't be shy. I'll show you. Okay. Here we go. Going up against uh, Pokefan Miguel, and he will be coming out with his Skitty. Okay. And if you guys are wondering, yes, I did capture Skitty off screen. Not that hard. And uh, crud, I'm going in here... Pretty damaged, so let's go with Yokozuna. I bet it could take its hits. It's just hopefully it doesn't faint or anything like that. I don't know. So here we go, Yokozuna battling against this guy right here. And there's that double slab taking a few HPs. Look at that, three points each. Crud baskets. Okay. I can do this. Arm thrust. Two can play at this game, and uh, yes, I avoided that move. Here we go, Yokozuna. Get this arm thrust. That's one. That's two. Come on, finish him off. God dang it. It uses its orange berry. These uh, cheaters. Here we go. Three. God dang it. All right, it always stops at three, so let's go right ahead and heal our Pokemon right here. So let's go. Not a potion. Let's go with a super potion right here because it does have quite a few HP. So here we go. Super potion for the win. That's right. That's my good old buddy, now trying to beat me with this disarming voice. Oh wow, it is, oh wow, it's strong. Okay, okay, I see what it, damn. Okay, so it, it does have a little bit of a, a super effectiveness on me, good God. Completely forgot that fairy type Pokemon are strong or effective against fighting types. Kind of a, uh, didn't know that. And there you go. 
Say goodbye. Say goodbye, be a kitty cat. And uh, look at that. Gaia grows to level 19, close enough to uh, evolve. And, uh, well, it's learning heal pulse. Let's see what this move does. I completely forgot what it does. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It uses emit healing poise pulses, restores the target's HP by... Yeah, not going to do that. Yeah, when am I going to use heal pulse? Never. Yes. Damn it, I'm pressing that button right there. Did not learn heal pulse. And uh, zigzags, of course. And look at that. We defeated Miguel. Okay. Let's move on right here. And uh, let's see, I think one of these two guys would like to battle. So, eh, you know what? Screw it. Let's go right ahead and uh, heal up our Pokemon right here. Uh, let's see. We're going to go with a Super Potion onto you. And, uh, you know what? I'm going to go with Gaia number two because we do it. Eh, it might have a chance to evolve in this episode. It might do it in the next one. I don't even know. I'm just happy to be here, guys. I really am. Okay, let's see what this guy has to say. If you cross the sea from here, it'll be a shortcut to Old Dale Town. Foo, foo, foo. Is, that's useful, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay, so moving on forward right here. Homeboy, let's see, what, do you, what does he have to say? Gah, my fishing line's all snarling up. I'm getting frustrated. That's it. Battle me. Okay, bring it. So here we go, going up against Andrew, the fisherman, and he is angry with some Magikarp. Crud. So we're not going to get that many experience points, but eventually I think he does evolve his Pokemon. I haven't battled him in quite some time. I don't know. Okay, so here we go. Let's get this Magical Leaf since it is a Grass-type move and, uh... Believe it or not, this Pokemon is faster than my Pokemon. So that's kind of like the effed up part right here. And there we go. Magical Leaf never misses. That's right. And, uh, well, everybody's getting experience points. And he's gonna be coming out with another Magikarp. So let's go stay with the same guy right here. So let's go bring it. Magikarp looking all... Carpy and all that stuff, so here we go. Another tackle attack. Not so strong, but here we go. Magic card with the magical uh magical leaves, and that is how you do it. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty. That is how you do it. And uh well, you're annoyed more <laughs> he's more annoyed, okay. So that's uh that's pretty good right there. If they're annoyed, then you're doing something right, I guess. I guess so. I don't know. Okay, so moving on forward right here, guys. I believe we're going to make a, our stop right here. Now, I know that the... What was it called? Uh, the mystery... Or Hold on just a sec. What is this called? Yes, the trick house right here. I know that the trick house is right here, but we're going to save that for a little bit later on in our adventure. I kind of don't want to do it. Kind of do... I'm probably going to think about it. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. You know what? We're probably going to do it in the next episode. So stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we might be going into the trick house. I don't know. We'll see. See you guys.